Hey, 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 welcome back to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know we fabulous and tenacious. We dropping faith-based weight loss motivation. Hey, y'all, it's Queen Fitness here. I'm back again for yet another video. Um, Today is Vado Day number three, and I want you guys to join me for a transparent moment with Queen Fitness. So, okay, so today, y'all, I have been doing some soul searching. And I wanted to see what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. And so as I was thinking about it, I asked myself a hard question. I was like, well, what has been the hardest part for you on your fitness journey? Y'all, I know initially when I first started my journey, and for me, I thought it was going to be my answer to that question would have been, the fitness side, you know, that physical activity. That's the hardest part because, oh, I'm breathing so heavy. Oh, I'm struggling, da, 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 all that stuff. Then there were points in my journey, if you'd asked me that question, my answer would have been the nutrition. Oh, I just, you know, I love snacks and, and I want to eat. And, and, you know, I have all these excuses about, you know, working long hours and not having time to cook and blah, 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 blah. But... At this juncture in my my journey, I really honestly, if I if somebody was to sit down and ask me that question, my answer to that question would be the hardest part really for me on my journey has been the mind battles. Y'all, the mind battles. Honey, sometimes um, I fought myself tooth and nails mentally uh, about doing what I knew I needed to do. You know, I knew I needed to be exercising and I knew I needed to eat a salad instead of all the fried chicken in the world or whatever the case may be. I knew I needed to do those things, but I mentally justified why uh, it was all right. Well, I get to work out tomorrow. Oh, well, you know, well, you know, it's okay to have a cookie. It's okay. And when I just taught myself out of doing what I needed to do. But honestly, y'all, um, the biggest thing that has been so um, beneficial for me on my health and wellness journey is the liberty to be transparent. Y'all, Chronicles. The chronicle side of this has been a just a, a a breath of fresh air for me. I honestly did not really realize um, how much uh, it really, how much of a release you got from picking up a camera and really just pouring out your heart and actually, you know, just processing where you were and what's going on with your journey has been was i mean yeah i watched my sister for years with this camera thing everywhere she went she was vlogging she was talking she was just, and i didn't and i'm like girl why how could you do that how can you just easily just pick up a camera just talk about something and nobody there but you and just pour out of your heart like that but now um now i'm learning that it's it's a freedom in just being real and not having to be a perfect being and not having to just, you know, uh, dot every I and cross every T, but you could just say what's on your heart and just be honest about it and, and just be free and release yourself from those things and move forward. Um, having the private support group and having those days where I can just go in there and I could just, you know, just rant if I need to rant, um, just share what was on my heart at that moment and get honest feedback from other people who have been where I'm at or who can just really just, um, just be a listening ear for me has made such a big difference. Y'all, um, I promise you, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Grief is a hard thing to, to work through. And especially when you feel like, Hey, you know, I got to try to, um, try to be brave and be, uh, this strong person for the other people, because you don't want to, um, 
send them on a spiral because you know what it feels like. You know, them days when when you want to just cry and them days when you just really just wish you could pick up the phone or them days when you really wish y'all could go do this or go do that. So, I mean, just being able to have total strangers, some of them, you know, but a lot of them are people that I just grew up with and have known me for years and knew me and my sister and have them to be able to just be be come alongside me and listen and just be hey just tell me you know that they hear and that they care and all of that stuff made a major difference for me and i just wanted to just come on for a few minutes to um pour into you guys i don't know who who may need this message who may be trying to figure out um how to process the things that are going on in your mind, the things that are, are trying to make you feel like uh, your your steps, the, the steps that you've taken, the um, progress that you made is not enough. That it's trying to make you feel like um, maybe that, that it's impossible to reach your goal. I, it's so many things that um, will play in our head, especially, you know, when you're sitting there and you have a have you're comparing yourself to somebody else's journey oh well she lost 20 pounds fast and and i'm only got i've only gotten i've been working so hard and i only got two pounds gone and and i don't understand why i can't get there what's what's the hold up with me some of it is your perception a lot of it has to do with the way you thinking you know you're you you with, with women unfortunately our stress levels um, releases hormones, the cortisol levels, and those hormones are counterintuitive to our journey. They actually will stifle our ability to lose weight. So if you're stressed and you don't have an outlet, you don't have that place to release it, then you could be working really hard and still not getting anywhere because of the internal war that's going on. And um, so, yeah, just having that, I mean, sometimes... I look at men and I get envious, you know, watching them being these rational beings and they can just give them a, you can just give them a five step program and they can do the steps. And before you know it, they crushing their goals and their weight loss journey is over with, you know, and we have to seem like we have to really earn every pound that comes off. And I know, you know, um, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of people have so much insight that they want to put. They want to critique your journey. You know how they how they do. Uh, where they try to talk you, try to talk negative about whatever decision it is that you made, and then make you question your own decisions. Honey, let me tell you something. Let me just liberate you right now. Uh, ain't nobody on that journey but you. You ain't got to answer to nobody but you. If you feel good with the decisions you made, go ahead and go with the decisions. Don't let nobody else talk you out of what you feel like you need to do for you. Do what you need to do for you. Because guess what? At the end of the day, whatever decision you make, ain't nobody going to have to live with the consequences or the benefit behind that that decision that you made but you right so then ain't nobody else got no right to say nothing but you i mean yes people can give you their opinion and that's just what it is their opinion but ultimately it's up to you to weigh the pros and the cons based on each individual insight and do what what's best for you do what's best for you what's necessary and what's going to uh, aid you and what's going to make you feel better and what's going to allow you to be as successful as you desire to be on your journey. Um, I promise you, I don't have to eat my words um, trying to critique somebody else's journey. I don't put my foot in my mouth way too many times. And I have learned now that I have matured and I've had to walk through some things myself. And I've had to see that everything don't always be just 
easy or happy go lucky. Sometimes it's an uphill battle when it comes down to, to health and wellness. And sometimes you got to make a, a life or death situation because it is a life or death situation. Um, so I cannot, uh, I tell people, and I have to put that disclaimer out there all the time. Listen, I am not an expert. I am just training myself and I am just sharing information with other people that have been successful with me and I'm sharing with people things that didn't work for me and I'm explaining to them, you know, the research that I'm doing for myself and when I come across some knowledge, then I am freely given that because I believe that we are stronger together. I believe we're stronger together. I mean, you can try to go at that thing alone, but if you can get support, why not? Why not allow somebody else to aid you on your journey? If you can get somebody else to um, pour into you, why not? Why not receive the insight? I mean, now if it ain't, if it's, if it don't make no sense, now nah, that's one thing. And if if it ain't really backed up, you know, I try. I don't. I try my best to um, share information with people. That have been backed up by science and experts and things like that. Now, of course, I'm human, just like everybody else. So there may be some times when I might error at times. And if I do, you know, I come back and I figure it out. If I figured it out that I made a mistake on something, I I come back and I retract it. It might be a couple of months later. So you might not have heard me retract it on this video, but that don't mean I won't do it. So, but tonight is not about really necessarily trying to um trying to just uh uh per, uh critique somebody else's process per se but tonight is really all about me letting you see into my process helping you to understand um what what did did or didn't work for me on my own journey and so for me um I think that the the biggest part of my journey and the hardest part of my journey has been the mind battles. Um, struggling with depression, struggling with uh, just emotional, un uncontrolled emotions in, in times has been uh, a big thing for me. And it was one of the major roadblocks for me because I really honestly have always loved exercising. So exercising and things like that wasn't necessarily a chore for me. It took a t it took a while to get my stamina back up because I had been just not being active for years. But it's not. It wasn't a point that I just felt like I could not or uh, walk or lift weights or do something. They I like um, challenging my body, so I like trying new things. Um, might not have knew exactly how to do a machine or something like that initially, but. Uh, it wasn't a point that I felt like I ever felt like any of it was impossible for me. It was just a matter of learning. And it was something that I was gravitated to because it's always been something that I love to do. Um, as far as nutrition is concerned, the struggle has been real with me with that for years simply because for I had an unhealthy relationship with uh, food from a kid. I started even as a child. I was a really, really picky eater and... So I fought a whole lot of things when it came down to food. So I think that's part of the reason why I struggle so much now with my nutrition. Because I have always been a picky eater. Um, but I'm I'm learning, you know, and I'm it, it is it is I'm praying even now that God will repalatize me and that He um gives me a a craving and a desire for the things that are healthy for me. I am doing the research and trying to um, actually introduce myself to healthier things. And I'm trying to uh, develop healthier alternatives. And, and so that's this yet a work in progress, but I still don't feel like that that was so hard. It's just a matter of ignorance. A lot of things I just didn't know. And a lot of things I just didn't care about when it came down to nutrition because I never really cared about food. Um, I share with you guys um, along the way that there were at one point, you know, at one point there was times in my life where I just was starving myself. So eating was not something that I even 
did it all. And then there was a phase in my life where I went to binge eating and uh, I just went crazy with certain foods like junk food. And now I'm in a phase in my life now where um developing a discipline to make sure that I eat um consistently and now I'm learning uh I have already been gotten gotten it down to the where where I'm eating consistently now but now I'm working on eating the right stuff when I do eat so this month um my goal and my challenge for myself has been to make sure that um, I incorporate more vegetables in my diet because I really had got to the point where I was slacking just like just almost completely to the point where I was almost completely not even really eating vegetables at all. Um, I ain't going to make no excuses about why I was doing those things, but I recognized that that was a really um, poor decision. And so now I am trying to uh jump start the, the experts say that if you take 21 it takes 21 days to develop a habit so my my game plan for this month was to set a 21 day challenge for myself to actually um be more intentional about making sure that i get those vegetables on my plate and eat like i supposed to eat this month and I'm, it is my prayer that as I set out to do those things, is that, that that thing develop into a habit for me. And it starts to be something that I just actually um, am geared towards. Like I shared, shared with you guys before, um, the holidays, I tend to just really just... Um, just just miss all the way up at the holidays i tend to just get overboard with eating in the holidays so i'm trying to um be more cognizant about the amount of food i'm eating about the type of foods i'm eating and i'm trying to um safeguard myself so that when i go into the holidays i will already have been um flowing that way so that i won't just just blow all of my progress this year um i have been putting out here that i want to do this um game plan for success workshop and i really wanted to try to help other people do the same thing that i'm doing and prepare themselves for the holidays and get let that be a catalyst for change and help them actually go into the new year on a good foot so that they'll actually already be in that that rhythm because you know a lot of people tend to at the first of the year come up with these new year resolution and set up in their mind that at the first of the year they're gonna they're gonna eat right they're gonna exercise and they're gonna do all that stuff and i'm saying hey sis if that's what you're gonna do if that's what you desire in your heart to do why not go ahead and get you a jump start on it now why not go and who says who says that we have to wait to the first of the year no, that ain't no written law that we have to wait to January 1st to start. You could start any day. Today, you woke up today and you got a desire that you don't like where you are and you want to change. Start today. Don't let these, don't let yourself have to read through three more months of poor decisions to have to, that's just add more, more on your pile to start a new year with. Come on, just be proactive. Go ahead and um, carpe diem. Seize the moment, you know. Uh, take advantage of today. Y'all, I promise you, um, I have, along my journey, I have learned so much. And I promise you, play, um, being a part of groups like Be Fit um, and listening to other people inside and them having um, ideas to help safeguard themselves at the holidays and things like that has been a true genuine game changer for me and it has really helped me be more cognizant because i promise you just like after losing those 30 pounds and then getting into holidays and then finding myself oh starting a new year with 20 of those pounds back on because I just didn't think about it. I just stopped working out and I just got lazy at the last part of the year. I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to do that no more. I want to be able to maintain 
the 20 pound loss that I have and just keep adding on to it and continue to grow and continue to grow and go forward. So that's why I am um, preparing my heart and making sure that I be be um, aware of my own old paradigms, you know, the old patterns and habits that keep coming back in and what I'm used to doing so I can recognize my triggers and I can actually um actually safeguard myself and and do what I need to do to prevent myself from keep walking in them same old shoes so that's what I have for you guys tonight um I hope that Something that I said on this video it inspires you and encourage you, and maybe it speaks to where you are. Um, if it's the Lord's will, I will see you guys tomorrow. But in the meantime, I want you to embrace and enjoy your journey. Goodbye for now.